So hello friends, welcome back to Romcart. Today in this video, I'm going to review the Havoc OS version 6 for Realme 6 785 devices that includes Realme 6, Realme 6i, G90, Realme 7, Narzo 20 Pro and Narzo 30 4G. So let's hop into the settings at first. So you can see this is Havoc OS version 6.0 and if I go to Havoc OS version, you can see it shows 6.0 and it's Android 13 based and the kernel that is used in this ROM is the Lineage Plus kernel which is a good daily driver kernel. The security update is of 5 July. 2023 now in system we get some customizations like in buttons we get invert layout edge long swipe action etc then we have click to partial screenshot which actually works you can see but if you are a serious gamer i will not recommend to turn this on because this sometimes causes touch issues then in the system profiles we get some system profiles by default that we can also edit in the status bar we get the network traffic indicator which is working fine let me show you. So you can see here that the network traffic indicator is working perfectly fine. There is no issue and you can also customize the units. Then we have the system icons, then the clock position, the show seconds button, auto hide, AM PM style, battery style, etc. Now in the gestures, we get these options like we have quick touch option, playback control, swipe to screenshot, press and hold power button, one handed mode, quickly open camera and the system navigation. and in system navigation we have an option to hide the navigation hint but that is not that useful because this only hides the pill but the IME button space under the keyboard still remains. And here is another option that I forgot to talk about is the quick tap to start action. Here you can customize your quick tap actions like if you double tap in the back it will take screenshots and you can also customize the action now in the security section we get the face unlock which is a good feature in a custom rom in display we get the night light colored smooth display four speak refresh rate tap to wake lift to wake and some stock features that i don't want to talk about then in the battery we have the battery usage and talking about the battery backup of this rom this rom easily gives six hours of screen on time where my Battery health is around 7 to 7 to 78%. If you have around 90% of battery health, then you will easily get 7 hours of screen on time. So that's a good thing in this ROM. In the network and internet, we get the private DNS and we get some predefined options. So this is it for the settings. Now in the home screen, you can see pixel launcher is used. Then there is no extra options like app log, etc. Now in wallpaper and style, we get these options like the theming colors and the wallpapers and the themed icons. The themed icons looks like this and it does not apply to the app drawer. Now talking about the performance, let me show you the screenshot. So this was the screenshot that was taken after using the performance script. So when you are using the performance script, you will get 90% of the CPU throttle. And if you don't use the script, the performance is not that good. You can see in this screenshot, the performance was very bad. There is random fluctuations in the performance graph and the clock speed is not stable at all. So if you want gaming, then you must use the performance script. And guys, here is few things as always I forgot to talk about. In this ROM, we get three cameras. All are working fine. The first one is ANX like camera. The second one is Gcam and the third one is Lineage camera. Even you get access to all the sensors in the Gcam. In AOSP camera, you can see we have got access to all the sensors. So that's a great thing. Talking about the dialer, you get the Google dialer. So for recording calls, you have to use third party services. Here's a most important point. We get a great audio experience in this ROM because of Viper. So just like other go far away builds in this ROM also, we get the Viper. So you are going to get an amazing audio experience. Now, many of you want the review of the rising OS, which is latest 1.3.1 by go far away so there was some issue with that rom so that's why i installed the havoc os but after this havoc os i will install that rising os 1.3.1 so don't worry about that so without further delay let's get to a quick gaming test let's go the blue team has scored for the first time clear Mark 
Switch in location. Way. On my way. Killing spree for the blue team. Expired. Marked a location. Great. You're about to win. The blue team is about to win. Now if you want to install Havoc OS version 6.0 on your Realme 605 device and you are in Realme 1.0 then you can watch this video and follow this method to install this ROM. If you are in Realme 2.0 then you have to follow this video to install this ROM. If you are already in any other Android 13 or Android 12 ROM which is based on Realme 2.0 then you have to follow this method to install this ROM. Have a great day.